artificial intelligence is taking the world by storm and you don't want to be left behind. What should you do? Human beings are social animals. We thrive in groups. We would not be here worried not for our social nature. We have a tendency for group thinking and when it comes to using technology most of us tend to follow each other. Now you know what I'm talking about if you're into cybersecurity. From a high level perspective it appears that the field evolves according to popularized practices. When someone tweets about a one-liner or a technique to be used in security research, more often than not that one-liner is being adopted, retweeted and popularized by many people in the field. As I've said it before, we tend to create echo chambers because it feels right when we resonate with our peers. Yet, the inevitable never fails to show up. We apply popular techniques and one-liners in bug bounty hunting and security research, and we experience frustration when our reports are being marked as duplicates. If you're doing the same thing like everyone, without ever having to exercise your higher brain capacities, it is common sense that you're going to get the same results as everyone else. And the only one to be successful is the first one to apply the technique. This doesn't only happen in cybersecurity, but in many other tech and non-tech related fields. To become great, you have to venture away of the beaten path. That takes courage, initiative, a lot of hurdle and frustration, and few of us are willing to put up with that. I think that if you look from a higher perspective, you can notice the tendency for automation. And automation is nothing new or bad for that matter. Automation can be your humble servant, when you are the one who comes up with it. When you are the one who invents a one-liner or a technique and you are the only one to apply it. Does that mean you are actually being selfish by not sharing your tactics? Not at all. To be on par with your peers, you can always encourage them to develop their own ways by pointing out where to start instead of spoon-feeding them the end result. This does no service to anyone. I'm not going to give you my scripts that I use for automation and my crafted one-liners, but I will point you out to resources for studying Python, Bash and Golang so that you can help yourself. If you really want it, you will do it. It can take years. If you don't, you're probably not meant for it. Automation is awesome when you create it yourself. To do that, you need to deeply understand the underlying technologies. To be able to automate part of the reconnaissance process in security research, for example, you have to develop programming skills and you have to be intimate with the technology you're trying to automate. For example, if you're testing cloud services, you'd have to study the cloud framework you're trying to do reconnaissance for. Another example is API testing. Even though there are many APIs alike, most of them have particular characteristics and you'd have to spend a decent amount of time to understand them so that you can ease your process with automation. As I said, this not only applies to cybersecurity, but to many other fields. If you're not into cyber, but into programming or development, Think of how automation applies to what you're doing. Let's take things to the next level. We've all seen what GPT-3 can do. If you didn't, just do a search on it. And GPT-3 is only the beginning of the artificial intelligence makeover. Currently, there are many jobs taken over by AI. And at the same time, there are many jobs created by AI. What are these jobs? You don't need a PhD to answer this question. Jobs like machine learning engineer, algorithm developer, machine learning researcher, practitioner, and so on, are only a few to mention and each of these titles can be applied to whatever field you are in. Therefore, if you want to prepare yourself for a future dominated by artificial intelligence, you have to study artificial intelligence and machine learning. These will keep you relevant for years to come. If you're in cybersecurity, you will study machine learning and try to come up with ways to apply machine learning to your tactics and to your tasks. For example, you develop a very basic machine learning algorithm that you feed network logs and have it predict potential intrusion or exploit attacks. To do this successfully, you need skills in computer networks, web frameworks, if you're running a web server and analyzing logs, machine learning and programming skills. And obviously, this will take years in the making. But what's your alternative? Are you going to keep on copying what other people do? Looking for XSS, SQLi and LFIs which become more and more obsolete and hard to find? Think about it.